Hell yeah, dude, LA, what a weird front row always. <laughs> I've learned that in Los Angeles, I have a pretty heavy Chicano fan base, by the way. <laughs> I love your comedy. Shirts buttoned up here. It's <laughs> pumping leeches and skanks on one of those stupid bikes. <laughs> Welcome back, dude. Sick long hair. You in a band? No. You just have long hair? That's pretty dope. Where do you work? In music. Yeah, right. What are you doing music? I'm a music editor. That sounds boring as shit. <laughs> what kind of music? Like film and TV score. Uh, <laughs> Where'd you meet this guy? Crying into a laptop at Starbucks or something? <laughs> sees the person keeping her captive, I go, Doo. That's not rewarding musically, is it? Fuck. What do you do? Anything cool? Photo production, that's pretty cool. Tasteful nudes? Sometimes? Some boob stuff? For what? Fashion and tits? Nice. Is the market preferring of a large or small areola? <laughs> I, know, I hate to make you talk shop out of the fucking place, Small little tighties. Yeah. Is that a job? Can I go blow on tits with an ice cube in my mouth? Jay! Mustache, bro. It sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but I sort of am. <laughs> Here's me, this guy, 1920s. He was slapping a black kid's books out of their hand in front of the school. You're not one of us. Whites only. Are you a bartender? Do you train boxers? Do you ride a one giant wheel, one small wheel bicycle? Do you wear a wrestling singlet with one strap on you and lift weights that have the number printed on circles? I lifted 1,000 pounds, it says in that ball. people here, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to be a sea of fucking white actors in this bitch. Thank you for being here. You're married? Yes. Nice. Kids? Yes. No shit. How many? Five. Five? That's black, all right. I mean, when your wiener's that big, you're just slam dunking into the eggs. You know what I mean? The watches have to take a journey for a pack of lunch. And this guy's just doing fucking layups. He's so bad. I can't help but get pregnant. His dick hole just spits it right into the egg. Yeah. A fucking journey. Kids, holy shit. How old were the age differences? About three years apart. Damn, what's the oldest? 36. 36? No shit, you guys look young. Damn, I don't crack. 36? No shit. I have one kid only. That was enough. 21. Daughter. It's weird. It's great, because she's an adult now. I like to go to a Sixers game and buy her a twisted tee. <laughs> <laughs> I 
years with my white claw, I'm like too vicious. Uh, you know, we need the players, let's suck their dicks in. I'm a cheap waiter. Good kid. Because I know now some things is good, like 21's a fun age. She's not gonna be a stripper, I know that for sure. It's not her personality, I know that now. She will not be a stripper. But now that I know that, I can admit pretty freely that when you have to have that intrusive thought that one day your daughter might become a stripper, a party who does go, I hope if she does, at least she's one of the hot ones everyone's into. <laughs> You want your kid to be the novelty one, they're all laughing at behind her back. And they're like, ah, oh, dude, her butthole's darker than the rest of her ass. I'm overprotective, so I'm in the back of the room, like, shut up, dickhead, give her a dog. Is that Expecting to look over and see you laughing like this. <laughs> Where'd you meet this guy at? College? No shit. You've been together a while? How many years? Married? 2006. Are you married? No. Why? Did you meet in college when he was your professor? He was fucking four years old. He was in college also. What? <laughs> but you went back to college at 45 years old, yeah? <laughs> you met in high school. You met in high school? What was he there? Your drug dealer? <laughs> you fucking the same guy since high school? Is that true? No, okay. You fucked a bunch of his friends first. It comes up with that. I mean, you thought Jack, right? <laughs> You definitely hooked up with somebody you know since high school. Yeah? Uh, has it come up? Yeah? <laughs> That's why he won't marry you. You're a piece of shit. I was kidding, but this crap makes you off. I don't need to do this around you, okay? That wasn't my plan. It's the real curse of being a colorful storyteller. People get very invested in the shit you make up. Watch how easy it is. Hey everybody, this is Ethan right here. He's a cancer kid. He's bald. I'm putting out cigarettes on his head. Yeah! Oh, I'm touching his dick. He's only 10. Fuck you. Tell people. No one's gonna believe you, little cancer shit. Fuck out of here. There's no Ethan. Some people in here were definitely like, Ethan! He has such a beautiful head of hair! <laughs> high school romance, that's crazy. How about you guys at high school romance also? I feel like you guys met both trying to cop heroin at a fucking gas station. <laughs> that was years ago before you got together. <laughs> Where'd you two meet? A gaming convention? Wow. I bet his first load was huge. I'd say, probably dodge the first blast because there's going to be some cork in that one. Is there anybody ever called dry cum stuck in a dick hole? Cork? They should have. If they didn't, they should have. 